We're going to continue looking at how you navigate the session in Pro Tools. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how you manipulate the selection. So to begin with, I'm going to make a selection on a track. And when I hold down the Shift key and I click on another track, you see that that adds that selection to whichever track I click on. If I continue to hold down the Shift key and I put my cursor over the start or the end of the selection, if I click and drag, that lets me adjust the selection and you see that follows on whichever track the selection is included on. The next thing we're going to take a look at is how you move the selection using keyboard commands. Now I'm going to assume that you have this little A to Z button. This is called the Keyboard's Command Focus. With this enabled, it makes all the single key shortcuts in Pro Tools active. So I'm going to make a selection on a track, and by pressing the letter P on the keyboard, you see that moves the selection up. By pressing the semicolon, you see that that moves the selection down. Now what happens if we add Shift to that? So I'm going to hold down the Shift key, and I'm going to type P a few times. And I'm going to hold down the Shift key again, and I'm going to press semicolon a few times. So you see it still moves the selection up or down, but when you add the Shift key, it's actually adding to that selection. All right, um, a few other little tricks here. I'm going to put my edit cursor right there, and you notice that the Tab to Transient button is not enabled. What this means is when I push the Tab key, it's going to go from the start to the end to the start to the end of every region there. So I'm going to bring that back right here. And I'm going to again add the Shift key. So I'm going to tab up to that very first region. Then I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm going to hit Tab again. I'm still holding Shift, so I'm going to hit Tab again. I'm still holding Shift, so I'm going to hit Tab again. So it's the same kind of thing. As the edit selection moves along, you're adding to that edit selection. This time I'm going to place my edit cursor, and instead of using tab to move the edit cursor to the start, to the end, to the start, to the end of every region, I'm going to add option to that. So when I do option tab, the edit cursor is going to move to the end, to the start, to the end, to the start of every region. So what we're doing is we're using tab to move the edit cursor forward, and we're using option tab to move the edit cursor backwards. So what do you think happens if we add shift to our option tab command? So I'm going to go option shift and I'm going to go tab 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 tab. So it's the same thing. You can see that as the edit cursor is moving through the session with the tab command, we're adding to that selection. Okay, so here's a tricky one. I'm going to place the cursor there. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to hit tab a few times. Now if I do option shift tab what's going to happen? Well, some people think that it'll move backwards, but that's not true. When you have an edit selection, where's that edit cursor? Well, the edit cursor is always at the beginning of an edit selection. In fact, we can see that up here where it shows us our edit selection. So if I do Option, Shift, Tab, you'll see that it does the exact same thing. So that's a little tricky for some people, but go ahead and play with that and you'll see that it's actually pretty consistent. All right, one more little twist on this. I'm going to enable now the Tab to Transients button. Now you can either click on that, or you can use the key command, which is Option Apple Tab. So doing Option Apple Tab turns that button off and on. So with that on, I'm going to put my cursor here and zoom in a couple clicks. It's really the same thing. The difference now is instead of moving from region end to region start, you're actually moving from transient to transient. So as I hit tab here, you can see that it's moving to transients. So if I put my cursor there, hold down shift, and do tab, 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 you can see it makes a selection from where my edit cursor began, and it added to the selection as I tabbed through it. If I put my cursor back here, and I do option tab, what do we expect to happen? Yep, that edit cursor moves backwards by transients. So if I bring it back and I do Option Shift Tab, it does just what it did before with regions, but this time just with transients. All right, put my cursor here, Shift, Tab, 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 Tab. Now, what happens when I do Option Shift Tab? Does this come back? No, Edit Cursor is right there. So using Option Shift Tab is going to move that cursor back by transient. Now the great thing about this technique is when you're tabbing to transients, these are really precise selections. So this is a great technique when you want to get an exact bar to loop 
or you really want to get right up there and make a clean edit, I use Tab to Transient all the time. All right, a couple more things to learn here. I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to once again turn off that Tab to Transient button. I'm going to put my cursor here, and we're going to take a look at um, Control Tab. So what Control Tab does is it selects whatever the next region is. So if I put my edit cursor here, hit Control Tab, it selects whatever the next region is. What do you think happens if I do Control Option Tab? That's right, it selects whatever the previous region is. So using our Tab key and the Control modifier or the Shift modifier or the Option modifier, it gives us a lot of ways to make selections using the keyboard and they're very quick and they're very precise. So it's a wonderful way to get around Pro Tools.